Hey guys, so if you saw my Twitter recently, you saw that I am doing a Logan review, and this happens to be that video. I mean, I'm not sure how you wouldn't know that. If you click on it, you probably know the title of the video. But, uh, yeah, so the way this works, the way it always works, is I do a spoiler-free review first, and then, like, the other half of the video is a spoiler review. So keep that in mind. If you haven't seen the movie, don't watch the second half. I will let you guys know when the spoilers start. Alright, spoiler-free review for Logan. It is... I, I can't, like, it's incredible. It is moving, it is powerful, it is sad, it is happy. It's all of these things in like this perfect combination that I don't think much else could have improved. I do think the movie could have had some improvements, but uh, not many, to be honest. Not many. It is really, really good. It is not for the faint of heart. Uh, there's a lot of emotions and there is a lot of violence. Heavy, like, Deadpool level violence. Maybe even more than Deadpool. <laughs> you guys know the plot, I'm pretty sure, but if you don't, basically it's... Uh, I won't tell you, I'll save it for, as a surprise for when you guys go to the theater to see it, but yeah, I would definitely recommend watching Logan. It is the best comic book movie I have seen in a long time. Would I go see it again? No, because it is too emotional. It is just, it's too much. It's that kind of movie, I sat in the theater, and when I left, it had put things into perspective, personally for me. That's how powerful this movie is. It's not even like, oh, that was a good comic movie, or oh, that was a good Wolverine movie, it was... Wow. I get what the movie was telling me. You get the message. There is a message in this movie. And you will understand it by the time that you leave that theater if you really think about it. And it just puts things into perspective for you. It's a very, very deep movie. Way better than the likes of, like, Captain America Civil War. Way better than, like, anything, I think, that's been pushed out in recent years. I, myself, have always liked Wolverine movies. I've always liked X-Men Origins Wolverine. I've always liked the Wolverine. I've, I've liked X-Men movies in general. But this, by far, has got to be the most well-done comic book movie ever because it is so real. It is just so incredibly real and honest, and it does not play around. It does not waste time doing things. Like, Captain America Civil War, the stakes are not high in that movie. And you can tell going in to see it because you know no one's going to kill each other because all of them are big name actors that we all know they have plans for. And so you go in and you think, oh, maybe they'll, you know, maybe there'll be some kind of incident where one of the Avengers kills each other. But then you think, of course it's not going to happen. They're the Avengers. I don't think anyone major has died aside from Quicksilver. And we all know that even if someone dies in uh, Infinity War... The thing is, is that Civil War was a huge marketing thing. And don't get me wrong, Civil War was a pretty good movie. Uh, did I like it a whole lot? To be honest, no, I didn't. I thought it was very boring. And Logan breaks the mold of that boring comic book genre that movies are starting to head towards. It really sheds a new light on just interpreting a character in the comic book movie genre. It has done it better than any other movie has, and maybe will. I definitely recommend seeing Logan, but maybe not more than once. Tears will be shed. <laughs> Alright, spoiler review. So, uh, I cried at the end a little bit. Not really, but I got a little bit leaky-eyed. Uh, that was... wow. It's heavy stuff. We all know what I'm talking about. The scene where Logan finally, after, like, I don't even know, 140-something years, he dies. He passes on. It is... It's what makes the movie so powerful to me, because the first half of this movie, and really a lot of aspects through the second half, are just so bleak and depressing. And when I was watching it, I thought, wow, this is a little bit too much, I think. It's not really, like, it's not, it's uninteresting to watch, almost. And then I realized it is interesting to watch because it's supposed to be bleak. It's supposed to be depressing, and it's supposed and it's supposed to be hopeless. The thing where Logan had an animantium bullet ready to shoot himself in the head if he ever wanted to, that was some dark shit. This is a lot of heavy and dark shit in this movie. But I, I was thinking about what it meant for Logan as a character by the end of it. And ultimately, I think his death was supposed to signify that he had not only regained, maybe, some of his will to live, but he had regained a sense of purpose for himself. Especially the part where Laura goes to the grave and turns the cross over so it's an X. I think that ultimately, maybe what that means is his life meant something. He did not die a spot on the earth that didn't have meaning. 
And the last thing he did ultimately was something an X Man would do. I think that's where what's not supposed to be is that he refines himself in his final days. And maybe that's all he ever wanted, really. Talking about characters on that hand, Xavier was really cool. There were a few funny moments with Xavier and uh, Logan. Uh, there's a lot of swearing, obviously, but I mean, I think it's kind of funny to see, like, grumpy old Xavier swearing up and down. Uh, but it's kind of funny and kind of sad, because then you look at the context, and you're like, oh, well, they really are, like, they're swearing because they're genuinely pissed with each other about their situation in life in general. Um, but yeah, the movie was just like, oh, it was really good. Uh, I don't really know what else to say. The, all the Laura scenes, the, the actress for X-23, Laura, was just amazing. It was cool that she can actually speak. I was really hoping they'd do that. Another thing I'm hoping for is that I know they're working on a new Mutants movie, and I don't know what they've had for, you know, it written already. I think that the group that Laura escapes with, the kids, I think they should be the new mutants. I think that'd be really cool, personally. I just can't. But we, I think we can all agree that we just, like, oh. I was haunted the rest of the day by Logan's death scene. Because that's it, you know what I mean? That's the end of it. There is no Hugh Jackman in Wolverine anymore. That was it. That's the end of Wolverine in movies. For a while, at least. Uh, I wouldn't mind seeing more X-Men without Wolverine movies, because personally, I've liked X-Men Apocalypse, I liked the First Class trilogy and all that, so yeah, I don't really mind it all that much. Ultimately, it was a really touching send-off, because the, the ultimate moral, I think, of Logan is that for all we know, depending on your belief, you know, obviously, but for all we know, we have one shot, one chance to live, to exist. And after that, we might not be here. We may, we may never be here again. We may never be again. And so I think ultimately Logan is a movie about realizing that you've only got so much time. Even someone who thought he was immortal realized in the end that he's only got so much time and that he should do something with that time. So that when he leaves and goes wherever's next, maybe there's nothing next that he doesn't leave no mark behind. And that's what he tells Laura. He says, don't be what they made you. Don't do what I did and waste my life being what they made me. At least that's the way he saw it. Spend your life being you. And that way you'll mean something. And I'm not sure if Logan really ever realized that he meant something, but I think that the grave ultimately was the seal on the job is done, the job meant something for Logan. It was awesome great ending and really ultimately it's it's almost more of like a an x-men last stand movie than x-men the last stand because xavier and wolverine are kind of the lax the last x-men the other guy who was with them i keep forgetting his name um i, I suppose maybe they're not x-men anymore i don't know if xavier considered them x-men but the cool thing about that is uh, if he did or if they were still considering themselves at least vaguely x-men then technically, X-23, Laura, is the last X-Man, so there's still hope for the group surviving. Which I just, I think that's a really cool thing to have in there, personally. Alright, let's talk about the things that could have been done to improve the movie. As perfect of a movie as it was, I think there are a few things that could have been done, or could have been changed, to fix it. Specifically, really, it's all surrounding uh, Wolverine's death, ultimately. And that was... I understand, that's a very hard thing to nail. This is one of the first comic book movies to actually kill off the leading role, who's been leading in said leading role for 17 years. Th that's crazy. But it worked so well, and I praise Hugh Jackman for that, I, play, I praise James Mangold for that, I praise everyone who worked on Logan for that. Awesome job, you guys did it. But, the feeling I have about it is that I would have liked to see and have it directly uh, pointed out that Logan is satisfied by the time that he dies. We never really get that feeling. You know what I mean? It's it's sort of just a whole pain trip throughout the whole movie and a gentle few words at the last moments of his life and then he's gone. He never says to himself, I did it and I did something with my life. Uh, I've heard that the Wolverine clone that kills him is supposed to be a metaphor for him facing himself. Um, if that's the case, I think it would have been way better just to have him actually have fights in his own mind. Or maybe even fight Sabretooth. I think that would have been a fitting end as well. Um, 
But I get what they mean where there's a side of Logan that has stopped caring about who he is. And the side that ends up coming out in this movie, the side that he dies as, is the one that cares what happens to other people, cares what happens to the people that he cares about, and cares about doing the right thing again, finally, after a very long time. And I think that should have been more directly represented. Um, but ultimately, aside from that, it was, it was really, really good. There's not really much else that I can complain about. Those really aren't even complaints. Those are something that I would say would make the movie more whole. The movie doesn't feel entirely whole sometimes, but it does in a very, very, very tragic way. It is not a feel-good movie. Not until the very end. The very end. And, um, of course, this is a spoiler review, so you guys all know that. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Those are my thoughts on Logan, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys thought. If you haven't gone to see it yet, I would highly recommend going to see Logan. Very good movie. Incredible, amazing movie. Uh, again, leave your comments down below about what you guys thought of Logan. And I will see you guys next week for a Science Behind Superheroes about Wolverine. Mm -hmm.